All right, so to get started here, what I'll do first is I'll calculate all the um, derivatives. Starting with 84, so f dash x will equal the limit as h goes to zero of um, minus five over x plus h plus five over x all over h, which equals the limit as h goes to zero of x times x plus h. And then on the top, it's five x plus five h minus five x. So the five x's cancel, the h cancels, and you'll be left with one over x squared. Uh, sorry, five, five still there, five over x squared. 85, so the derivative here, and let's use a different color. The derivative here will be the limit as h goes to zero of um, three x plus h squared plus two x plus h plus four minus three x squared minus two x minus four all over h. So this will give you three x squared. So when you expand it, this guy will cancel out with that guy and uh, this will give it 2x, which will cancel out with that, and the 4 cancels out as well. So what you're left with is then uh, 6xh plus 3h squared plus 2h all over h. The h's cancel out. And then when h goes to 0, this is gone. So you're just left with 6x plus 2. Um, 86. So the derivative would be the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over root 2x plus h minus 1 over root 2x all over h. So that will be the limit as h goes to zero and then on the top we'll have root 2x plus h times root 2x and then here it'll be root 2x minus root 2x plus h over h and we should multiply above and below by root 2x plus root 2x plus h over root 2x plus root 2x plus h. So when we multiply that all out on the top, you'll get 2x minus 2x minus 2h. Then here, and they'll cancel, and the h will cancel the h here. Uh, and then you're left with root 2x plus h times root 2x multiplied by itself. So um, that will be minus 2. The square cancels the roots, and the h goes to 0. So it's just... Um, 2x times 2x, so it's, it's 4x, is it? All the roots are gone? That's a bit suspicious. Oh, it's not exactly the same. There's a, it's not exactly the same because uh, that's a plus there. So they're not exactly the same. So yeah, okay. So if I just put the limit as h goes to zero, I'll be left with root 2x, root 2x, times root 2x plus root 2x so that's 2 root 2x 
if I put the limit going to zero. So that will be minus two over two times two is four root two, four root two, root x cubed. Oh, but the twos cancel. So it's minus one over two root two root x cubed. Ugh. Um, mm, 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 mm. Think about that. If that is right, the root two is good. And that's good. And then that's good. Yeah, I think that's correct. For 80. Did I skip 86? Did I actually do? I actually did eight. That is actually 87. That one was 87. I skipped over 86. 86. Okay, 86. Limit as h goes to zero. Root x plus h plus three x plus h minus root x minus three x all over h so that x will cancel with that uh, and you'll have limit as h goes to zero and we'll have to multiply above and below by the conjugate again uh, that would be a tree h um, and the h will cancel there so it's going to be three plus root x plus h minus root x. So I think what I'll do, I'll just separate out three h over h plus this piece over h. If I split it into two, it'd be a little bit nicer because then I can cancel the h's there. So I'll just be left with three plus this. And we've seen this one before, I think. So you just multiply above and below by the conjugate. I'll just, I don't have space, I'll just write the conjugate. And uh, what will happen is um, on the top, you'll get x plus h minus x, the x's cancel, and uh, the h's will cancel. So you're just left with one over the conjugate when h has gone to zero, which is root x plus root x, so that's two root x then. Um, and I feel like I lost um, minus somewhere. Uh, no, I didn't. I did not I'm good. Okay, so that's 86 then. All right, 87 I've done. So 88. Okay. So that will be the limit as h goes to 0. 1 plus x plus h plus 1 over x plus h. Minus 1 minus x minus 1 over x all over h. So the 1s are gone. The x's are gone. So 1s are gone and x's are gone. I'll separate it out so it's h over h. So that's just going to be 1 plus. And then we have the same thing kind of as before. This minus this. So if I put that together as 1, on the top I'll get x minus x minus h. And the h will cancel with this h. So I'll just be left with minus 1 over. And then when the h goes to 0, it'll just be x times x. So that's x squared then. So it's just going to be 1 minus 1 over x squared. Okay, and finally 89. So that's the limit as h goes to 0. And it's going to be x plus h cubed plus 1 minus x cubed minus 1 all over h. So that's going to be the limit as h goes to 0. 3 
x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed over h. Uh, the h's will cancel there and that becomes a squared but when it goes to zero that's gone anyways so you're just left with 3x squared. Whew. So my answers are 5 over x squared, 6x plus 2, uh, this thing here, uh, that, that, and finally that. All right. Okay. Guess I can check the answers. Um, 384. Um, start well. I have to start with eighty five. Six x plus two. Six x plus two. Yeah. Minus one over two x power three over two. Uh, okay. Uh, let's check if that's right. X power. So that's the cube and square root together. Yeah. Okay. And then. If I bring the two in, it'll be root two cubed. Yeah, same thing. Okay, and then um, what else can I check next? Um, 89, 3x squared, yeah. Okay, good. Good, all right. So what do we need to make now? Let's see. For the following exercise, use a graph, graph calculator. Graph fx, determine the function derivative, and then use a calculator to graph the derivative. Okie dokie, let's do that. So the first one is minus 5 over x. Graph, graph, there you go. And then the derivative, which we can confirm that it's the answer I said. 5 over x squared, that's indeed what I said. We can graph that now. There it is in green. All right. Next one now. Next one is 3x squared plus 2x plus 4. Graph, graph. There it is. And then the derivative. Graph, graph, there it is. Okay. Next one now, root x plus 3x square root x plus 3x. Graph, graph, there it is. And then derivative and graph uh, yep and graph there it is there and that's the same answer uh, is that the same answer as what, what am i doing uh, this one isn't it 86 3 plus oh, hang on I might, I might have typed it in too quickly oh yeah sorry i'm graphing that one 86, yeah, sorry, I hit the wrong graph buttons. Graph there, and then I should have deleted the other one. And graph this one, the original. There we go, so the blue is the function and the red is the derivative, which is correct, okay, good. And then, um, what one now, one over, one over, one over square root two x which is 87. Okay, graph, graph, there it is. And then derivative, graph, graph, there it is there. And they write it in a different format slightly. But I can just type this in if I wanted to. Uh, this in, I mean. Uh, okay, 88. So 88 is 1 plus x plus 1 over x, graph, graph, and then 
derivative and uh, graph that. There it is there. Okay, and finally 89 x cubed plus 1. x cubed plus 1. Graph, graph, and derivative, derivative, and graph that. There we go. And that's the last one. Okay, great. Okay, I think that's probably a good place to leave it because then the next few questions are kind of a different type. They're not graphing questions. Um, a little bit of theory kind of questions and then finishes up on graphing. So two or three more lessons, though, to speak, should do it. Yes, okay, so I think we'll wrap it up there. That's good. Let me close this down. Okay, yeah, that's good for today. So we'll leave it there. Um, yeah, we've done up to 89. Good. So we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Any problems, please let me know and I'll see you next time.